Today I have a video showing various custom ROMs for the Redmi Note 6 Pro, and I hope it will give users an idea of which ROM is best for them. First up is Lunage OS. This is a fairly basic AOSP ROM, which focuses more on stability and security than having many features. It is definitely one of the most stable ROMs available, because the developers carefully implement just a few critical features, and care is taken to make sure it's available for as wide a range of devices as possible. Customizations are found in the Settings System menu. They include options for buttons and the navigation bar, and changes for the status bar like clock modifications and icon options. Lineage OS includes many of their own system apps, like their music player, so on initial install you can be up and running quickly with the stock apps. The rest of the ROM acts mostly as stock Pi ROMs, so there isn't a high level of changes to the stock Android feel. The main difference you can find from other ROMs is the Trust System menu found in the security settings. This is where Lineage OS puts their efforts, and the Trust Center gives you higher levels of control over your device security. It can warn you about your device's level of protection, and the Privacy Guard feature gives you fine controls over permissions granted to apps. The next example is Reloaded CAF. CAF-based ROMs appear the same as AOSP ROMs, but technically should perform better as their source code is based on code created specifically for Snapdragon devices. Reloaded is not heavily modified, but it has more controls than Lineage OS. The System Tuner menu allows you to make changes to options like the status bar and lock screen, to make more changes to your ROM. Most of these features are toggles for different icons, visual modifications, ambient display, battery icon appearance and similar. The ROM would suit someone looking for a CAF based ROM, with at least some customization. A nicely rounded ROM in my opinion. The included apps are very stock, by which I mean they are the typical AOSP style apps found with other ROMs, so you can start using the ROM very quickly. Just as an example, the stock camera app included with most ROMs is really basic, but enough to take decent photos if you need something very quick, and you can just install your preferred camera app after setting up the ROM. Now we have Pixel Experience. The levels of customization here are higher than the previous examples, but not in the normal way. There are less options for users to control the ROM, but the customizations have been made to make the ROM feel as close as possible to being a Pixel device. It's almost an exact mimic, so if you like the Pixel style, this ROM is for you. Not only that, but it's extremely stable as the focus is on maintaining the Pixel ROM features, and overall suits users who are new to custom ROMs, like Lineage OS would. A nicely rounded ROM with a leaning towards the Google experience. The included apps are just the stock Google apps that would be found on a Pixel, but without the bloat apps that you would normally get. The rest of the ROM is typical AOSP, but with Pixel mods found on Google devices. The next example is Siberia OS. Siberia is cutting into the heavily customized ROMs, but again has more focused on having stable features, so slightly less features are present compared to our final examples. Customizations here aren't found in the system menu, but instead have their own menu labelled Siberia settings at the top of the settings dashboard. Inside is about every customization you can possibly need, including a lot of features from other ROMs like Privacy Guard from Lineage OS. Siberia even has a game mode with some settings to improve experience when playing games. You can toggle most of the icon options, and switch up the navigation options so you can ditch the navbar and use gestures instead. There is a huge number of font packs pre-installed with the ROM, so you can change them in the display settings, and there is really great native theme support, so you can change the system from light to dark mode and change the accent colours. Even the battery page has an animation. The final ROMs are the most heavily customised. First up is Liquid Remix. It also has its own customization menu, labelled as Liquid Lounge. Inside is a huge number of options to tweak the ROM look and feel, including most of the ones found in Siberia, and even more that aren't. It has most of the security features found in Lineage OS, and finer controls for wake locks and alarms. Overall there is a deep level of user control in the ROM, so this suits advanced users very well. The trade-off for all these features, however, is stability. When entering certain menus, the system UI would crash, and would need to restart before it could continue. The customizations are still fully functional, but the menus will occasionally crash before you can continue using the ROM. Not a major issue, and can be expected with all highly customized ROMs at some point or another. They usually get fixed fairly quickly anyway. 
Under the display settings are even more options for theming control and system UI styles. So, so many options for the look of the ROM. Last but not least is Resurrection Remix. This is the most insanely customizable ROM on my list of examples here. I'm not even going to talk through everything it has, purely because it has just about everything possible. Just watch the video to get an idea. If you want a ROM that lets you change literally everything, just use Resurrection. It's more for advanced users, but if you want high levels of control, just spend some time carefully trying all the options, and you can get used to it. It even includes the Trust Center from Lineage OS, literally everything. So that's all I have to show. That should give Tulip users a better idea of the ROMs available to them, and hopefully can guide people to choose the ROM that suits them best. Everyone has different expectations, so try out a few different ROMs and see what level of customization you actually need.